What's up, y'all? It's your boy G. I'm in Hawaii. Aloha. Uh, back at Sea Life Park. This is another uh, contract that we have. We're going to be cleaning the inside of a food trailer. Uh, we got the main courtyard that has all the food and whatnot, but in the park they have little individual snack bars and trailers that they use to you know service hungry people that just come from shows so we're going to be doing one this particular trailer hasn't been used in about a year and a half since before covid so got a lot of grit a lot of grime in there a lot of oil had some critters in there and uh just real nasty so i'm gonna be doing a deep clean on that one and um got three people on the job it might take us about three to four hours maybe even more we might have to come back another day so, um, yeah, we're just gonna get to it and uh, no whining. All right, you guys. <laughs> this video starts with us conducting a walkthrough. We'll let you listen in. Have you come back? Copy that. Um, we'll have you come back maybe Thursday okay. or Friday okay. and then you can test the fryers. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So, Gabe, the fryers. All of the equipment needs to be cleaned, degreased, um, and then just definitely scrub down, get as much rust off as possible inside here, everything. Okay. And then decreasing up the floors and then the windows and any kind of dusting or stuff like that. Um, okay, and know. anything that's off limits in here? Nope, everything is, everything, as much as you can clean in here, the better it is including the, the ice cream freezers and stuff like that. Okay, how about the outside? You have the ledge well, and the, the sign. Yeah, the windows and stuff. Okay. So if you come in on Wednesday, um, we want to focus on these two fryers because Fepsco is going to come back on Thursday. Okay. And that way we put oil in and they can service the machine and test it for temperatures and everything. Okay. But this is a Ventus fryer, so it doesn't need a food system. So. But it just mainly needs to be degrees cleaned up. All right, guys, not even gonna lie. This is one of the most disgusting cleans that I've ever done. Um, yeah, that fry vat, if you have taken a look at it, the grease was so thick on that sucker, it was like removing candle wax. It was bad. And what made it even worse was that it was extremely hot. They didn't have any air conditioner in there. It was H to the Izzo, like ha, it was hot. So yeah, um, in Hawaii, you'll see a lot of bugs in Hawaii. Bugs just kind of thrive here. So it's not unusual to see bugs in your car and all that stuff. You just get some bug spray raids and traps and things like that. So took care of the bugs and that was it. But yeah. It's always satisfying to see a pressure washer spray that dirt and the dirt just oozes, it melts off like ooh. Yeah. This particular project took us two days to complete. Uh, I spent about three hours the first day and about five to six hours the second day. And we actually were there at nighttime the second day because we were not leaving until it was done, okay? So um, the amount of workers that we had is about four, but at times it was two, but I just go ahead and rounded it off and just said it was about four workers. Uh, but the bottom line was we completed it it looks fantastic now, and that's all that matters. So thank you for watching. Be blessed, guys, and I'll holler at you later.